first innings, later half of the first innings. Uh, they did so by bowling slower deliveries. I mean, uh, because of pace variation, they were able to restrict uh, Chennai Super Kings. Uh, they bowled, I think uh, at one point it was shown that they bowled around 45% of slower deliveries. So this pitch uh, uh, appeared slow in the, in, in the only match that's been played so far here. So uh, do you think uh, your bowlers would be able to adapt better to the, to the pitch here? Yeah, I'd like to think so, um, without giving away too many secrets. Um, you know, we've, we've obviously, the beauty of this year's schedule with the IPL is that there's a, a bit of time between every game, so you can reflect on the game that's just been and then what's coming up. And as you've right, rightfully pointed out, there's only been one game here so far. It's um, a fairly young venue as well. So, so just working through the, with the bowlers, both yesterday and today, training, going into the game tomorrow, um, our, our pace bowling unit has got some pretty good experience, so I think they're very um, good at adapting to what's in front of them in terms of the game situation. Obviously, if you do your scouting and you do your research on the opposition um, batting lineup, but um, I like to think that our, our pace bowling group particularly has is, is got some good experience that they can uh, adapt to what the game is telling them in, in, in front of them um, as they play. And that was very much the case in the last game against CSK. I thought, as you mentioned as well, that, that second half of our bowling innings was brilliant. The, the way that the, the pace quartet used their change ups, used the surface, and really sort of stymied that CSK batting line. So, yeah, we'll wait to see what tomorrow presents. Obviously, it's a, a totally different batting lineup, a, a, a new game, a new day, and um, hopefully the group of bowlers that we put out there tomorrow will, will be able to adapt and, and have a good performance. Hello, the side from the Pascal and coach, how do you rate the bowling performance of the team? Because two times the opponent team scored 200 plus against us, it's better than we won that match, but the opponent scored us so well. But the last match is pretty good for the bowling side. So, how do you see these kind of situation in the Mohali Stadium? Because it is new for the new team as well. Yeah, uh, as I just said, I think we've got to go into tomorrow's game because of the newness of this venue with their eyes wide open in terms of what the surface could present. Um, you know, you've very much got to play the game that's in front of you. Um, obviously, we've had a couple of pretty um, tough, brutal games from a bowling point of view. The first, first one at Eden Gardens, um, Renku and Andre Russell um, sort of made hay back into that innings and then we obviously had that first game of Hyderabad where it was just a run fest, every batter had their day and it was pretty tough for both bowling units against Mumbai Indians. But I think the last couple of games, um, the boys have been adapting well, they've been bowling nicely, they've been smart with how they've used the cutters, uh, when to go to you know, either wide lines or, or within leg stump lines to batters. And um, again, it's very early stages of this IPL, every team is growing with every round of games, and I think we're very much um, that way inclined at the moment. So, you know, tomorrow, as I've already said, new venue, new, new team that we're coming up against with Punjab, and um, we just try to put our best foot forward tomorrow and see where that gets us. Uh, what do you want to say on the performance of Abhishek Sharma? Because he's a Home man is playing in the home ground. He's going to be playing in, he's played there a lot of cricket. So, how do you see his performance in this IPL, especially, and how you read? Um, I think he's made a lot of people stand up and notice him. Like, it's been, um, it's been awesome, for particularly the last couple of games. Um, you know, his shot range and his assertiveness with taking down bowlers has been awesome to watch and witness. Um, Seems like a pretty down to earth sort of guy. I've only been around him myself for a couple of weeks, so, so starting to get to know him. But I love, I love that sort of quiet confidence that he's got, and I think we've all seen um, in these last couple of games what, a, what an amazing talent he is. So um, he started nicely, and I'm sure he'll want to continue um, this this form that he has tomorrow here in, in Punjab, where he's from. Um, I believe he's from just up the road and from Amritsar, so he'll have. No doubt, some, some nice support from family and friends um, that will come to the game. So, um, yeah, I think it's hugely exciting. And I know as a, as a team and as a, as a coaching staff, we're, we're extremely excited to watch how his eye power unfolds over the next few weeks. Um, this is 
is about hybrid class and um, I mean he's, he's he's been called the spin boss because he's been uh, he's been hitting sixes against spin uh, like he's he's hit, he's hit the most sixes since IPL uh, 2023 against the spinners. So is there anything specific uh, that he does uh, during preparation for six hitting, especially for six hitting against the spinners? Just lots of sixes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's meant to be fair. Heinrich has um, has been unbelievable uh, over the course of probably the last year or two, and, and that middle order batting role that he has. Um, I think any bowling lineup, particularly any spinning group um, coming up against them, will be slightly nervous that if they do get it slightly wrong, that they're going to be fetching their, their ball that they've just bowled from out of the stand. So. From what I've seen in trainings, he, he very much trains the way that he plays. He he, um, he possesses obviously a lot of power. So when you watch what he does in games, it's no real surprise because you know you come back to preparation and the way that he trains. It's very much that way inclined as well. He's trying to get in good positions, trying to work out exactly where and how he hits certain types of bowlers. And yeah, the last year has been unbelievable. We watched him. Obviously, he's had a good start to the IPL. Uh, does he play golf? Because he has that golf swing. And yeah, he he doesn't play golf, but he's been playing a lot lately. He's got his family here, so um, in his spare time, he's, he's putting, been putting his time into his family, which is great to see. So uh, I, I do believe he does play golf. And is there any specific uh, attribute, striking attribute, that uh, you think in him makes him uh, the great hitter that he is? Uh, I just think his swing playing, and, and particularly against spin, he's got. Um, Unbelievable ability, ability to pick up length very early. Certainly, balls that are just short of a length, back of a length, I think we've all seen how quick he is and, and pulling those just short of length balls from spinners over the mid wicket boundary for six. And um, I think, as well, we at times with classic get a little bit caught up with what he does against spin. I think we've also seen on the side how good he's been again, good against pace and hitting pace. So he's, um, he's not. If not the best, probably one of the best in terms of that middle order role in world cricket for T20. Last question, please. Coach, coach I, will, I have two small questions for you. And if you want to toss, then what will be your first preference to this? I'm a bowling coach, I don't know. <laughs> According to conditions, I'm asking you. And uh, the other is, as a fast ball, as a bowler, as a bowling coach, how do you see this rule of two bounces? And the pitches are so friendly with the bats too. So how do you see it? Yeah, I think to answer your first question, um, I think again it's probably too early to know because the venue is so young what a biases would be in terms of whether you bowl first or bat first. Um, I think it'll probably depend on what sort of shape your team takes uh, going into tomorrow's match, and I know that those decisions are and those chats are ongoing at the moment. Obviously, we're still 24 hours away, so. Um, yeah, whether we battle ball first, I wouldn't probably be able to tell you right now. Um, and neither would I if I did though. Um, and I think from the two bouts of point of view, it's obviously changed the dynamic a bit this year. Um, I think it probably feels to the pace bowlers that they've got a little bit more opportunity in the game. Um, but I think as well, statistically, and uh, you know, this is just from our own research over the first few rounds, I think on pace bounces have been hurt a little bit this year in terms of they're pretty much either a six or, or not much else, um, maybe a dot, but uh, the off-pace slow bounces have certainly been effective um, throughout the competition this year from all teams. So, yeah, it's certainly changed the dynamic how much. I don't think we'll know until we get through this IPL um, and we get you know, a, a decent sample size of data to really understand how big an impact that two bounce rule has had. Final question. Coach, uh, all teams high on confidence. Facing each other after winning previous matches. How, how do you look forward to this contest and what is your assessment about the job as a moment? Yeah, obviously, both teams are, are sitting on the same sort of record, so um, they're a dangerous team, a very dangerous team with a lot of dangerous players within it. Um, and I think they'll probably say the same about us as well. So I think it's going to be you know, an evenly four contest. Um, most times in T20 games it comes down to small moments and small margins, particularly when both teams possess you know, dangerous players. So um, we know that we certainly have to be on top of our game and bring our best game to, to have a serious chance of winning tomorrow's match. So you know, we've trained well yesterday, we've trained well again today and I'm sure our guys will be well and truly up for this.
that's I think a bit of a thorn for the IPL so far. It's been tough for away teams to win. Um, so we'd like to certainly upset that apple cart and get a win away from home. It'll be our first one if we can.